Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. We're talking about Internet Protocol version 4 still. And, well, we're talking about a topic which is not that, not that nice. Yeah? Because, like said, we are using 32-bit uh, networks, addresses, and they are too less, simply. Yeah? So we have an address space exhaustion. So how internet is working, right? And not everything is already working on Internet Protocol version 6. There is still a big chunk of data Internet Protocol version 4 used. Uh, so why is it still working? How is it working? I want to explain uh, some things um, we had which changed over the time. Uh, and one thing which, you know, in the 1990s it became absolutely clear that uh, we will run out of, of addresses simply. Up to then, we had so-called network classes. Uh, so there were network classes. There were class I, A, B, C, then there was even D and E and so on. And for instance, uh, they had fixed Fixed subnet masks. Huh? Fixed subnet mask class A network had 255.000. So it was a huge network. Yeah? Class C had 255, 255, 255, 0 subnet mask. Fixed. Yeah? So this led to, yeah? so we had, we had uh, addresses which was not in use. Because somebody got an A network and they were not all addresses were used. Yeah? Addresses. Were not all used. There was advantages of this, of course. Yeah? The routing tables and everything was pretty short. It was clear who is who and you could determine, aha, this is this address range, so it must be this organization and so on. This was nice. It was nice. However, then we saw uh, this is no longer in use yeah, since the 1990s, since 1993. Yeah? No longer used since 1993. Suddenly, the subtenth mask uh, were open. You could have one bit more, one bit less, and so on. So you could do much more detailed subnetting. I've explained this, uh, subnetting. Uh, and this was then led to the fact that every IP address was available. Available to use. Yeah. This is called classless inter-domain routing. This is why it's called classless because there were no uh, network classes anymore. Use whatever you need, yeah. and so. Since the, the, some were already used, yeah, then it was separated and so on. So we got a fragmented, fragmented uh, address space. Yeah. What the result out of, out of this historical development was a fragmented address space. Yeah. So we need long routing tables. You know, if you have this class and it, and you say, okay, this begins with those numbers, so I will send it for sure there. And now one neighbor address can be here or here or here or wherever. I have to store every address. Yeah. So this is uh, there's long routing tables that needed. So all the devices, all the routers and so on, they all need pretty more more memory simply. Yeah. And also I, I've talked we talked about this. Uh, 
IP version 4 did have this header length checksum and so on, and this needed to be calculated or needs to be calculated in, in uh, the router. So this is also load to the router and is limiting somehow the, 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 the throughput. Uh, it's limiting how much can pass the router. If you have a long routing table, you have to look the long routing table, right? So this is one, one issue. However, it saved, it was more important to save uh, network addresses simply. Huh? Because now bigger chunks of addresses were again available, which first belonged to some organization or were blocked because it was a class A network. And so. Yeah, all right. So result fragmented address space, slower routers. And another thing was used, yeah, this is called network address translation. Network address translation or NAT. Network address translation. This helped a lot, yeah. Because the original idea was that every computer is available to the whole world. Hmm? Why is it not that way? Because now we have an NAT router somewhere, here. That's our router. At home or wherever you live. Yeah? And here is our laptop, yeah? or our computer, here. And we are connected to the NAT router yeah? and we are requesting here somewhere server. We want to have something from this yeah? server in internet. And we want to connect to this server. Yeah? We know the IP address of this server. I will explain. Actually, we are typing in www. whatever. Yeah? Behind these names are IP addresses, I will explain in, f in a future video. Uh, so this is, we have in here, in our, in our local network, on this side, we have the local area network. And here we have the VAR. Wide error network. And our connection point is our router. Yeah? So we are requesting, let's say this server has an, an address and a port number. Doesn't really matter. Yeah? And we are requesting this. We are requesting this, and here we have and we also have a port number where this uh, where this TCP connection is is going yeah and this port number is for instance why not yeah? so we're sending this package to our network address trans network address translation router yeah? The network address translation router, it has here public IP address, for instance, printed and don't use the same, uh, right. and our packet, as soon as we reach the router, the router will replace the original source address, the original IP address, with its own public IP address yeah, and will send the request further. It has not even to be the same port. The router might have this port in use because the so the router might even send with a different port. Okay? So request here to 
127, 197, 09 from That's here. Huh? And the router is changing this request. Yeah? And here the request looks like this. Two. That's the same. Yeah? And here from Ah, this was stupid. Uh, it is not the same. Here. And the port number. Must not be the same port. Yeah. So, the origin has changed. So, this is answering this service and the network address translation router has remembered, aha, now it's the answer, I need to forward this here, to, to this computer inside my local area network. So here is a network address translation table where it is stored. Yeah? Once the session is closed, this will be deleted again, this entry, and so it remembers when something from inside is wanting something from outside, it can hand it to the right, it remembers from whom I got which request and what, what is the answer to this request yeah? and will simply exchange this. So the internal address space here is totally separate from the outside. So here a lot of computers might be, a lot of hosts might be and we have only one public IP address. This saves a lot of IP addresses. This is called, this here is called uh, source network address translation because the source is translated into another network, the source address uh, from the from source. Uh. Often sold as a uh, benefit, uh, security benefit, that those computers are not directly reachable from the outside because outside we only have this IP address, right? We only have this address and what is inside nobody on the outside knows just the router okay if somebody's hacking the router let's imagine it's not hacked it will not be hacked so from the outside we will not be seen yeah what if we want to operate the server or something like this in here yeah what what then yeah how how is this working there is also a destination network address translation, so that that this somebody from somewhere wants to re have a request to in this direction. Yeah? Then this is called also port forwarding. Yeah? Why? Because you can say, okay, at the router a specific port, I can reserve a specific port here, the port number, and once something is at this port, the router knows, okay, I have to forward this to this internal version. Uh, this is why it's called port forwarding, because you have to enter to the router. If something is arriving at port 5279, whatever, uh, then please hand it to this host. Uh, it will know what to do with that request. Yeah, this, is, this would then be destination, network address translation, or port forwarding also called. Uh, and like I said, this, this fact that it's not really reachable from, from outside our internal world, this is often sold as security. Yeah? However, it's just an effect. Yeah? The real reason was the address space exhaustion. Yeah, address space exhaustion. Problem in Internet Protocol version 4. Yeah? So next time now, really, we are going to talk about Internet Protocol version 6, yeah? because actually that's the reason why version 6 was, was developed, yeah? with a huge, huge address range. And we will see how this is working. Next video for this time.
Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.